Welcome to the Philippine Islands. The Philippines is a tropical archipelago of 7,107 islands. With the Philippines' 101 million population, it is now the 12th most populous country in the world. And sad to say, Philippines is one of the poorest country in the world today. Yet, Philippines is still an open field for missions. Philippines badly needed the Lord. Philippines badly needed missionaries. And I believe with all my heart and through experiences that the best missionaries to reach the Filipinos are the National Filipino Missionaries. With this, I am so thankful to God for saving my soul and for calling me and my family to become His missionaries to our very own Filipino people at this present time. The Lord saved me at the very young age of 12 and called me to preach at age 16 in 1983. After years of Bible schooling and training and planting churches in different provinces in the Philippines, in the year 1997, the Lord burdened my heart to pioneer a church in Rosario, Cavite, Philippines. And this is now the Bible Christian Baptist Church, where until now, I am the missionary pastor. In just more than 10 years of intensive soul winning and discipleship, souls got saved and baptized. Preachers has been trained. Churches has been started. And yes, truly, the Lord blessed the ministries. And He is continuously blessing the works that He entrusted me. Fellow Christians, with all these ministry accomplishments, came my 2020 ministry vision where I am visioning and dreaming of facilities to house all these ministries that we are doing for the Lord. I am dreaming of 2,000 square meters or 18,000 square feet land. I am dreaming of a church auditorium with 700 seating capacity. I am dreaming of a three-story Christian education building. And I am dreaming of a dormitory for our Bible school students. And as what Habakkuk says in Habakkuk chapter 2, verses 2 and 3, And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision. And make it plain upon tables, that he may run the tree that it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. O oh, fellow Christians, the ministries that me and my family are doing is not ours. It is the Lord's. And with this, I always encourage myself and our people. Dream high, dream more, dream even the impossible. Amen. For with our God, nothing is impossible. With the Lord who is the source of all blessings, and with your continuous faithful partnership through prayers and financial support, then I believe with all my heart 
that this vision will surely come into reality for His glory. Thank you so much. God bless you all. And to God be the glory.